When Coda's mom said he was getting a little brother. Hey, Coda, how do you feel about a little brother? He was like, um, no. Maybe if he just stuck his head in the couch, his mom would forget all about. Nope, that didn't work. Coda, meet your new little brother, Yogi. Coda was not happy. He didn't want to be an older brother. It meant he'd have to share his home and mom with someone else. Yogi knew Coda didn't like him. So he tried to change Coda's mind. He even got him a present. Good boy! Coda, look what Yogi gave you. Who doesn't like presents? But then something happened. Coda got sick. Everything's gonna be okay. Okay, Coatsy? The vet said Coda couldn't use his back legs anymore and would need wheels to move around. It was hard for Coda. The world seemed a little too big now. But he'd forgotten something. He had a little brother who wasn't going to let his big brother give up. And one day, Yogi tried something. He picked up Coda's leash and started tugging him. Coda wasn't sure at first. But then... Come on, boys. Good boys. Good boys. Good boys. Come on. Bring Coda. Good boy. Coda couldn't believe it. He was moving. All thanks to his little brother. Bring him over here. Bring Coda over here. Coda finally realized how much Yogi loved him and felt bad for the way he acted before. But it didn't matter now, because Coda and Yogi were brothers. And now, best friends. Come on, boys. Good boys. Good boys. What did you do? What did you do? And a funny thing happened. Little Yogi started acting like a big brother. He'd watch over Coda when he needed rest and play gently so he wouldn't get hurt. Good boy! Good boy let Coda have the toy. Before, the idea of having a little brother made Coda want to hide. But now, Coda couldn't imagine life without Yogi. They're brothers, friends, a family, where no one gets left behind. Good boys. What did you do? What did you and Coda do? Solo Kids! Help the kittens find the subscribe button.